Hey, good morning, love and peace. This is Ray. Um, today I want to talk about distractions. Distractions. Um, distractions can are there basically to keep us from being on path. Distractions can take us from being uh, where we need to be, being in the moment, being in the flow, in the allowance uh, of, of who and what we are. Um, and it, the distractions are there to take us, to, to, to pull us away from that. Um, they're like the opposite of when it comes to the, the uh, law of attraction. Um, they can literally pull you away. Distractions, if you're not strong on your intent and your path and your desire <clears throat> and the pursuit of those things, then you can easily be distracted and pulled to maybe an old life. Maybe you get pulled off your path because you got distracted to an old life that you used to have. Maybe you got distracted because there was something like, you know, some people get distracted who, uh, you see people who are trying to, you know, stop drinking, for example, and and then they start uh, going out and hanging out with certain people and then the distraction of, of, of the, uh, the temptation of, of, of liquor or wine and whatnot is there. So that's that's a distraction is to pull distractions to pull you away from your desires from the the, the flow, okay. And that's the thing we want to look uh, beware of. We don't want to be um, distracted. We don't want to allow our minds to be distracted. When you're distracted, it's really hard for you to accomplish anything. It's really hard for you to 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 see clearly where you're gonna go. Um, <clears throat> You got to protect yourself against those things. Those are, those, those are one of those things you want to be vigilant about. It's a tool that is utilized by the negative forces. It's one of those traps and tribulations. You got to be aware of it. Distraction. Okay? Remember that. <clears throat> keep, it in the, keep it in the forefront of your mind. So don't allow anything to distract you. Distractions. What are some of the some some of other common distractions? So there could be distractions from your personal life. There could be distractions from your work life. Let's say you're trying to save money. Let's say you're trying to save money for a, a, a trip that's important to you, and you get distracted because I don't know where. As soon as you decide that you want to save money to go visit maybe some you know some beautiful place or some important family members as soon as you make that decision you start getting distracted with people coming out of the woodwork saying hey let's go here let's go there uh you know maybe there's this maybe you like shopping a lot maybe the distractions of of temptations of clothes and, or, and things that material things that you've always wanted now they're on sale and you're like oh my gosh this is a great deal i want to buy it so that that causes you to take money out of your savings or whatever, you know, and uh, to spend it. And so, little but instead of saving the money, you're you're spending it. A distraction could be like you spend, let's say, you spend like you know, uh, ten thousand dollars for a really nice car. And every time something if something comes up that you want to do, you get distracted to do these things. You take that money, you grab that money, and when you least expect it, you. you it's going to be harder for you to have to get that money because you're taking it away. So that's a distraction. Anything that is out that, that is keeping you from fulfilling the end goal, which is achieving the allowance of your manifestation to flow into your life. So anything that's that's within that category is a distraction. Okay. Um. <clears throat> A good distraction is maybe uh, you're trying to run your own business and you start doing really good. You start spend, saving the money, you start, uh, you have a separate account just for the business, the business expenses and whatnot, and you're doing really good. You're seeing some small profit and then you get distracted with people saying, hey, you, yeah, let's go party, let's go do this, let's go do that. And you're like, well, I can't really do that. I have to open up the business. I got to save my money for this. <clears throat> but and then you see all these close friends of yours going out and having a good time. So you get distracted. You're like, well, I'm making a lot of money. I can make it up. You get distracted. And then that's the money that you needed to, to, to take care of things that you need to take care of.
which affects your, which in turn affects your business, may even cause you to lose your business, or put you in such a debt that it'd be hard. Now you have to like just scram, you know, try to get money from someone or some, you know, some a people or, or another bank loan or something like that. So and so you put yourself in a in a, in a hole. Pulling yourself away from what, the, what you're supposed to be doing. So you have to have that laser-like focus when you're going after the things you want. If you don't have that, then you will lose what you're, what you're, all the work that you've been doing, or the, all the, all the, uh, the, the time, and you've put into the manifestation of your desires. You could lose that. The distractions. That's the job of the distractions. Now. The positive aspect of a distraction <clears throat> is that it's constantly testing you. And you can say, okay, how is a distraction a positive thing? Well, a distraction can, is always making sure, it's kind of like the, um, it's the dividing factor. Okay, a distraction can be, can be sought at as a, a dividing factor, meaning that every time you get distracted, it's almost like you have that split in the road and you have the the, 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 the yin, the yang, the negative, the positive, the yes, the no, <clears throat> you see? And so you have your choice. Do you want to continue on your path and not be distracted or do you allow yourself to be sucked up within the illusion or the distraction? So you're always being tested. How badly do you want what you want? Because if you want what you want as badly as you as of what a real desire, what the definition of real desire is, then your chances of being distracted are very slim because you're just, you're like this laser like focus and anything in front of it will get cut to shreds. There is no, you don't have time. Somebody that really knows what they want have no time for nonsense, they have no time for distractions, they have no time for, for, for wasting time. They're, everything they do in the, on, on the path that they're walking on is <clears throat> is a value to them they know that they're building something they know that they're that everything that they do every moment that they have within that business is important so they don't waste that time <clears throat> and so that's what you got to be aware of you don't want to waste your time when you're working on your dreams your goals there's too much work to be done for you to be distracted elsewhere so remember that distraction has two parts of it. There's, a, there's the, the the first is its job, which is to distract you, to pull you away, to make sure that the, you know what you that that what you're going after is actually what you truly desire. The positive aspect of your of distraction <clears throat> is to to kind of like make you aware and to continuously help you make that choice. Do you want it? Do you want it? Do you want it? And if you want it, you're gonna say, Yeah, this is what I want. This is what I want. And so you're never going to be, the distraction is never going to get the best of it. So please be aware of that. Um, as always, give me two thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Love and peace. Until next time.